Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we are in Farming Simulator 22. As I just smacked my microphone, of course. What's recording without me doing that at least once? Anyway, I'm taking a look at the forecast here because we are in Wyoming and I'm looking at taking things a little bit different direction than the way I have been. And unfortunately, the rest, the next three days, it's going to be off and on rain. It actually just got done raining today. Currently, what the heck am I doing standing on my computer chair? Let's get down from there. That's not safe. And uh, we may actually try to get out and get some mowing done. I was doing a little bit of mowing this morning and I had to stop. Get the door shut. I had to stop because of the rain. So... This is one of several different rigs that I'll be running in terms of mowing. Uh, I was just doing some edge work with this guy. Basically around the drives and whatnot. Um, because of the grass, as you can tell, in certain areas, is getting very long. But one of the ways I'm looking at taking this uh, particular farm is animal husbandry which is going to take in a lot of work in regards to um, getting <clears throat> excuse me had a frog catching my throat there um, yeah basically requiring me to get a lot of grass mode and all of that fun stuff uh, don't need to refuel Come on. Can you detach? Oh, mm. This is fighting me. Of course it's fighting me. Why won't you refold? Oh, I see. Um, hello? Alright, anyway, now that we got that uh, situated, um, apparently I forgot to disable the, uh, or I re-enabled, I'm not sure which, the manual attach. Sometimes I enjoy it using that because it, it makes it a little bit more realistic. Other times it just annoys the crap out of me. So I believe, let me double check here real quick. Nope, that's not the screen I want. There we go. So the tractor we're using today, 175. I'm looking at the horsepower for the mowers that I'm looking at using. Ooh. I won't have to worry about taking that off then. But this is the only one that can... Um... Hmm. I didn't think this thing through entirely. But this guy, this tractor, does not have the horsepower for it. I may look at, have to look into getting a front attachment for that other tractor that's sitting right there. Because I know this tracked tractor right here does not have the front hitch, and I know I don't have one available for it. So, yeah. Ooh, wait. He no, I think that's just... Yeah, that's just the uh, mount for the front grill, basically. Let me get this door open. Because I am going to take a look uh, at the options available for this and look into getting a front attachment. 
meantime, I'm going to shut that door. Who the heck is coming in my shop and opening up all these doors? Alright, I'll catch back up with you guys in a second, I hope. Alright, so... I had to remove... We got a quick... Uh, delivery sent to us. Um, I had to take off the attachment and all of that fun stuff for the front loader. Thankfully, I have that other tractor that has a front loader. So, worst comes to worst, I can always reattach that if I need to. Um, but at least we have the three-point front hitch now, so we can actually do the mowing the way I want to. Um, we have a nice big patch of grass over on the other side there of the... I think it's a... well, the red barn there. I think that's a uh, small cow pasture. I'm not sure what, what that is. Haven't quite looked into the, all, everything as far as the animal husbandry, what I have available on this farm. Um, this is version 2 of... Uh, no? Can I not touch that? Oh! It's because I have this bar thing here. That explains it. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, just barely missed the top there. Bloop! That, act, that bar actually does make it nice when you're towing pieces of equipment. Um, kind of allows you to have a little bit better turning radius. There we go. But I do plan on doing some dairy cattle, uh, chickens. I don't know about horses, maybe pigs. But I think I'm going to start off with, with uh, some cattle because it looks like that's what this area is here. Let's uh, get to these equipment, these mowers. There we go. So yeah, we got all this uh, green field over here that we can mow. I have not done anything as far as tearing it up um, so we can fertilize and all of that fun stuff. I will probably end up doing that. This field that's over up here in front of me, we just got done harvesting beans off that field here not too long ago. Uh, harvest was all right off of that. Uh, could have been better. Could have been a heck of a lot worse. But that is something that I'm actually going to be leaving that field uh, go for the winter. And then starting fresh in the spring. I don't know if I'm going to plow it up or not. Uh, we're going to take samples at, in the springtime to see for certain if it needs it, if it's compacted it too much, and we'll need that. But I am thinking of planting something maybe like corn. Um, I don't want to do beans again if I can help it. But we do have uh, the headers to do either one. But with all this field here, if I am going to actually plow it up and make it farmable, if that's the correct term, um, I don't have access to this land because I'm too far away from my owned property. Alright. But yeah, if uh, I'm going to make this land farmable, um, it's going to... I'm probably going to have to get a front loader and kind of get fill in some of these little valleys um, and kind of knock down some of these little hilltops. How far over can I go? Not that far. So 
Because I never did survey get surveyed over here as far as just how far I can go. But we'll make it to the tree line, at least for certain, as far as mowing. Um, hopefully we can get this done and taken care of, at least the mowing part today. Uh, I don't think it's going to be mo uh, mowing. I don't think it's going to be raining anymore today. But I do want to get the mowing done, so that way I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm hoping we can kind of get it dried and tedded out be and possibly bailed before more rain comes in. I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. I I'm Because I don't have any animals to feed right now, a good chunk of this I am trying to take advantage of as far as just getting a bunch of these weeds and bushes knocked down and chewed up. So that way we can start our fresh uh, in the spring and getting uh, good quality feed. Anything I, I can, I feel comfortable uh, bailing up, we're probably just gonna end up selling anyway. Uh, just because I don't want that sitting around right now. I know it's not gonna be good quality feed. So if I can get anything out of it, that's just what we're, that's probably just what we'll do. Oh, that's a big bush. Not see that coming. And I do not have my chainsaw to, to knock that down. But yeah, there's a lot of these smaller bushes out here that we can easily knock down with the, these mowers. Granted, I realize in real life that, that wouldn't be the case, but this isn't real life. This is a video game, and we're playing it by my rules. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> I know, I do say I try to play legitimately and realistically, but, I mean, come on. Sometimes you just have to take advantage of the gameplay. Yeah, as far as this goes, we do have, we are running precision farming. Um, this isn't showing anything of a harvest off of this field, off this, well, yeah, field, because it is a field. It's because it's not registering as a field per the game, um, which is fine. Uh, basically, for a field, it needs to be plowed up and uh, basically create, have, you need to create a field for it to work right. So. So we're gonna get this mowed up. Uh, I may try to get the uh, the tether out so we can get it turned over. That might be a morning thing assuming rain doesn't hit first. Because I do kind of want to let this dry out for at least a day. Well, I guess it'd be about half a month at that point, but. Because I am running at the moment Anyway, two day months. And of course there's a train going by outside. There's never a dull moment when there's a train going by. But hopefully uh, the quality of my videos has been improving for you guys and you guys are able to better enjoy my videos. I realize, you know, it, it, my content may get a little stale at times just because of just playing the same games, which I'm fine with, at least for now. Um, I haven't quite figured out a community that I want to join. Um, so, I mean, if you guys have any recommendations of a community that you would like to see me be a part of, that think and think it might make sense for just how you see me play, um, let me know. Uh, feel free to uh, send me a message in the comments below. Um, just letting me know if anything, the uh, if it, they're a content creator, and so that, that way I can take a look at the their style of gameplays and uh, what, how they do things, whether it's farming sim, whether it's ATS, um, anything else. I mean. I haven't really get, 
looked into doing anything as far as Grand Theft Auto yet. Um, with my new computer, I would probably be more than willing to try that, try to get into that. I tried it once before, but my computer did not like it. I don't know why, but yeah. Yeah, this will be a nice, beautiful field once we're done. Um, I'm very tempted once we get this off, when we do plowing in the summertime or springtime, of just plowing this up just like you see me mowing uh, this whole perimeter and just making it a legitimate grass field so we can add fertilizer, we can add the manure, we can do everything we need to to get the best crop out off this field. Um, and then I can put it in rotation. So when this field is in grass, the other field is growing a row crop and vice versa. Just so that way I always have a row crop to grow. And even if I do that, I can split this into two different fields at that point. So that way I can grow two different row crops and not just all one. Because I do want to, I hope to be able to um, get this farm to the point where uh, I don't need to buy, you know, any food for the animals, whether it's chicken feed, you know, cattle feed. I really hope I can get to that point of being able to say, yep, I grow it, I manufacture it, I give it to my cattle, they produce the milk, or a chickens produce the eggs, or you know, whatever the case is, and just say, it, yeah, from start to finish, my farm does it all. So, that's something I, I could say I would want to do in real life, to be honest. Yes, uh, you know, a part of me would not mind being like a, you know, cattle farmer or anything like that. I prefer, not personally, I prefer to do, um, like, milk uh, milk cattle instead of just straight beef cattle but I mean for me I, I just get tend to get uh, too attached to animals so <laughs> I don't know if I could just do straight beef cattle and then immediately send them off to slaughter at least with cattle you can spend time with your animals you can take care of them um, and, you know, they can be productive for you while doing that instead of just your focus on having them put on the pounds. So that way you can get the best money possible for something that's just going to give you meat. Yes, cattle, milk cattle, I do re realize, dairy cattle, um, once their time is up and they don't produce the milk anymore, they get sent off for slaughter. That's just the nature of things. So, it's not that I'm against slaughter by any means. I would just rather have the possibility of raising up an animal that it's not its sole purpose. Yes, then that goes against me saying, you know, yeah, we'll do pigs and chickens, but... But, I mean, who the heck doesn't love bacon? I mean, come on. Everybody loves bacon. I don't care if it's turkey bacon, if it's pig bacon. I don't care if it's, you know, somehow made from grass. Not my cup of tea, but, you know, I'm sure that's out there. I'm sure there's people that love it and they, they call it bacon, but it's not my kind of bacon. I don't, it's not real bacon to me. <laughs> but you like what you like and eat what you eat and I'll eat what I eat. We'll call it good from there. <laughs> Hope everyone has been having a great week while we're at it. I know this video is coming out on a Saturday. So, with that being said, depending on when you guys are watching this, I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. I know where I'm at here in Ohio, in the Buckeye State, it's supposed to be beautiful. Um, 
I'm recording this on a Friday evening, so I know it was a beautiful day today. A little on the chilly side, about mid 60s for a high, but sun shining. It was beautiful out. Uh, I know. I, I believe we're supposed to be getting some storms tonight, overnight, and I think a chance off and on for rain, possibly a scattered storm through the weekend. But it's supposed to be beautiful, warm. So. I plan on enjoying at least some of that outside. Wish I could say the entire time outside, but I don't want to look like a red lobster. We are really cutting down on a bunch of these uh, bushes that are out here in this field. I like that. It means it'll be less for us to have to uh, bury it in the ground later when we go to uh, plow this up. So what I've decided on is I'm tired of field stone. So I'm not running with field stone uh, turned on. I am running with weeds on. So we will be dealing with that. And part of that is because I am curious on how uh, well it works with precision farming. Um, because a part of that is part of precision farming it, with dealing with that. So, field stone, not so much. Field stone, uh, to me, is just starting to get annoying. Um, yes, there are things where I can uh, take the field stone and make lime out of it. So, it's possible, depending on how things go, we may just kick that back on just so we can produce lime. I don't know about that just yet. This is actually a decent sized field here. We're gonna get plenty of bales off of this, I hope. Uh, this might be a quick turnaround, we'll see. May not be as realistic as, you know, one might hope, but again, game physics, gotta love it. But what I'm going to do, I think now, is I'm just going to go ahead and get this, the rest of this field mode up. Um, and probably catch up with you guys when we're hopefully tedding. And hopefully not, you know, at the time of a rain delay. So we will see you then. All right, guys, so we are back out here in the field uh, running our uh, dinky little tether. Um, this was about the best I could find for the money that I have. Um, but it's doing the job pretty well. I will say that. It's getting this grass turned over and kind of evened out a little bit more than just the mower. Um, I mean, just kind of looking at the fields for what we mowed. Uh, now it's been sitting here for a little bit. And I'm going to say that it's not the greatest as far as harvest goes for um, for grass or hay, for that matter. I guess is what this is going to be turned to, some sort of hay silage. But I figure I'd give it a shot as far as running uh, the tether. And it seems to be doing all right. Um, like I said, it's... As far as game physics go, it seems to be doing the job it's intended for. Granted, you know, normally you would probably wait until it's, the grass would actually be a little drier than what it is. After, instead of just off a fresh mow. But, we're taking advantage of what we can. <laughs> Plain and simple. And the more I've, uh, I was at, kind of mowing, the more I'm looking at the field going, yeah, well... Cut it back here. We'll do something a little something a little different here, and so it's it's a work in progress. This is definitely going to be something that I've never fully committed to before. So I hope I can stay fully committed. Um, I, honestly, I I just kind of struggle at times. 
And part of it has to do with like the updates and things like that. Because like in this case, uh, when uh, Elk Mountain uh, Farms was updated on, which you can find this through Facebook, um, which I believe is Elk Mountain Modding. I can't make any promises. I'll put a link in the description, but I will see what I can do. Um, it's free. You don't have to pay pay anything. You don't. I mean, you just have to join. I believe just follow their uh, Facebook page. Um, so yeah, if you like the map, unfortunately it's not in Mod Hub, but you can find it e relatively easy um, just by searching Elk Mountain Modding on Facebook. But they just released the second version with some updates, I believe, to buildings. Um, I don't remember the change log altogether with it. But I believe it's mainly due to difference with buildings. But it did require a new save game, unfortunately. Uh, which means I'm going to have to redo everything I did for Paul's mining site. So, I mean, it is what it is. I might be able to make some quick improvements to it. So, apparently, from just hearing me say it again, I like saying it is what it is. Don't know why, but I do. I missed a big chunk there because of something, because of that catching on the fence, I guess. Like I said, uh, at dealing with grass and things like that, uh, I'm not the most fluential or, or most, you know, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's late. I've been up since like five o'clock this morning because of my paying job. And I haven't gone to bed yet, but I'm off this weekend, so I can sleep in all day tomorrow if I wanted to. <laughs> I, I just get, I just got the urge to, you know, hop in here and do recording for you guys. And I mean, honestly, if I didn't have a recording done tonight and nothing ready for tomorrow, I would have just woken up and done the same thing tomorrow morning. You'd just be hearing a deeper voice coming from me. Because first thing in the morning, my voice is deep. I think I've done one or two videos first thing in the morning. I, I know they haven't been the greatest ones. But I think they've ended up being mainly where time lapse trucker, farmer, whatever kind of hops in. He makes it easy for me to do a video. And it kind of changes up the pace, no pun intended, with being time-lapse. But yeah, this is pretty boring, boring, especially at night, um, where you guys can't see all the scenery around us. Well, I mean, you kind of can. You can see our farm over there, as I'm missing pieces that I should be tedding. Oops. I might go back there and make sure they get tetted, but we'll see. I just hope I can get this stuff bailed up. Because if I can't get this bailed up in time, well, I'm going to be in trouble. Actually, not really, because anything we can, like I said, anything I can uh, bail up is more than likely just going to be turned around and sold. So, yeah, it'll just be income. But I want to make sure I do it before it rains, because if I can do it before it rains, then that means I have a greater chance of getting more bales and better bales, because the grass won't be soaking wet, which would make for better silage. At least in my opinion. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not a real farmer, so... Mm, I'm just kind of going off of what I kind of know of, just how things work in the game. But we got quite a bit here left to do, so I'm not sure if I'll catch up with you when we're bailing or what's going on, but I'll, I'll come up with that decision a little bit later. 
All right, we're back here in the farmyard. Uh, getting our last bit of equipment, which thankfully we can do two different things at once. Courtesy of this guy that I just picked up. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and make some round bales. And get my round baler. If we were doing square balers, I wouldn't need to pick up this uh, wind rower that, for the front of my tractor. And I haven't figured out a way, uh, supposedly, uh, there's a way to um, get that unfolded. At least I thought there was a way that this piece on the front, the wind rower on the front, I could attach to the back and have the uh, baler attached to that, but I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. Maybe it's just something I'm missing, I don't know. But this makes it nice and easy, because I can get wind road and then immediately bail it. And I don't know if it, the game's gonna let me do it, but we may be actually wrapping these. Um, yes, it, we're doing it right after we did the wind rowing, or the tetting. Because again, game physics, that's why. And like I said, the forecast, we'll pull up here on the tablet here. Once it gets done saving, there it is. Um, they're showing rain in the forecast for the next three days. So I, <laughs> and that dreaded S word, even though high of 63, wow, that's a drastic change. Going from eight degrees Fahrenheit to 63 degrees. Whew. And I thought weather in real world was messed up. Wow. All right. Um, let's get that ready to go. So we'll see just how many bales we can get off of this. I am... Uh, I do have a bale counter up there, which you guys don't see on the screen, but it is in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, that particular thing is a mod, just so you guys are aware of that, uh, which can be found in the in-game mod hub, if I recall correctly. Only downside is it's not the greatest for uh, bales on turns because it kind of spreads out the wind row just a little bit as I get caught on a tree or a bush or something like that. So on, oop, there's bale number one, which do -do 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 -do. Uh, no, it just looks like if uh, it was gonna, if it would allow me to bail it, it would be bailing it or uh, wrapping it. I'm sorry. Of course, it's bailing it, but wrapping is what I meant. <laughs> As we drive over that bale, whoops. Yeah, when we go through and do the uh, straight passes, I'll have to do a better job on getting this stuff that we're missing in the turns. I'm trying to be careful and trying to get as much of that as I can, but some of these uh, turns are a little tight. Wasn't thinking about that when I was doing the mowing. Whoops! That's why I kind of wish the uh, wind river was right in front of the baler instead of, you know, a tractor length in front. But not everything can be perfect. At least I'm able to do, for the most part, do both in one shot. Instead of going through, wind rowing, then detaching that, then going to get the baler. I just like being able to do multiple things at once. Imagine that. I'm trying to be productive here, guys. So while I was uh, doing the tedding, um, it got me thinking that, you know, what do you guys, if for those of you who play this game or play ATS, anything kind of like, even Minecraft, what do you guys tend to have on in the background? Um, one of the things, if I'm not, you know, watching a movie or have a movie on in the background or, um, watching some of my 
YouTubers that I watch, you know, watching their content, supporting them. Um, a lot of times, like if it's farming sim or ATS, I will have on some of the uh, internet streaming um, uh, channels. Um, like I know for a couple, for example, uh, Truck Sim FM or Truckers FM, something. One of the, I think, believe both of those are um, on there. But for 22, they actually already have them in the audio file thing, so that way you don't have to go back, go through and add it yourself. It's already there which I thought was amazing because that was one of the first things I did because I was just getting into listening to Truckers FM and all of that. And the uh, reason why I like it is because it makes you feel like you're listening to a legit radio station, um, well, which you are for the most part, but um, the traffic reports that you hear are actually what's going on in some of the, multi I believe, the multiplayer um maps for either European Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator. Uh, so you can kind of get uh, you can get the traffic updates in that regard. And I just think it's that's just pretty cool that it's out there, that's available. So, I mean, yeah, it's a little different when I'm farming because I'm not actually doing those maps yes and no because I listen to it even when I'm just doing single player trucking and I'm not on a multiplayer map um, if I was part of a v VTC or a virtual trucking company it'd be a little bit different because I'd be on those multiplayer maps more than likely so I mean yes I do have plenty of music on my computer to listen to but to kind of have someone else, you know, do your playlist essentially and listen to music that you may not have in your own folder is, I think, is pretty awesome. Alright, so we got first pass done. Let's see what we can do about cleaning up some of these areas on the second pass. And after that, I'm going to do my straight lines straight across to really help try to get as much as I can. Because you'll be able to see just how much we've uh, we missed. Unfortunately, some of these bells are going to start getting in my way too. So, <laughs> not much I can do about that. But so far, after the first pass, we've got well with this one 16 bells. Um, so there is that. We are getting quite a few bales, which I'm happy for. I hope I can sell them all for a decent price. Like I said, they do have the residue, or not residue, they do have uh, bushes and things like that. Not It's not just straight grass, so. To me, it's not gonna be the most um, profitable, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna drop this as I'm backing up. Oh, yep. Oh, let's hope we don't back our barely under a tree. Woohoo! Missed the tree. Get around the bales. So I'm trying to get more of this picked up. So that way we can get the most efficient use out of our field. Swinging a miss in that spot. Some of these areas are actually decent. Like even around this curve here, it's not bad. Up here, definitely, because it's such a steep curve. Up and over on the bale, apparently. I think I have an automatic loader for these bales. I don't remember. If not, I may have to run to the shop for that. But 
I think for the time being, though, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up and worry about getting the bales off the field later. So, guys, I'm going to call it there because I don't want to bore you too much longer. As always, if you happen to like what you see or get yourself watching more than one of my videos, do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Of course, that bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just select you here and there. So with that being said, guys, if you already are a subscriber, I almost forgot, I thank you and I greatly appreciate it. So now, with that being said, till next time, guys, take care. Peace. Peace.